Hello, it's Monday, recovery day for us. We're out here for a seven mile run and then we'll finish it off with five 50 meter sprints. Boy, yesterday was a really tough workout. Everyone got hammered pretty good. It was a really, really dense week of quality last week. So this week we're going to take our foot off the gas a little bit and give everybody a chance to meet in the middle. The intensity level will decrease a lot to remove some of the stress so that we can add the stress of more volume. This week we'll get the volume to 68 miles so that Brian and Danny Hung can catch up and the kids can stabilize and have another week just under 70 miles. So yesterday, Brian and I were able to get our 10 marathon pace miles done at around 645 pace, which is pretty far away from my expected goal marathon pace, which is around 630. I'm not too worried about this because I have another continuous marathon pace run scheduled four weeks from now. So I'll use the next three weekends to create a progression that will allow me to get a little bit closer to running towards my goal marathon pace for 12 miles. I've talked about this progression in a few other videos, but this is the one where I will detail it out for you week by week. Last Sunday, I was able to confirm that I can do 10 miles at my old marathon pace. Now it's time to move the graph to the right and to make that pace a little bit faster. This weekend, I'm going to do a long run workout that will include cruise intervals. Remember, when I planned this out, I only increased one stress. If I increase the volume, the distance, and I increase repetition or decrease recovery time or increase speed, then I'm doing too much. I only want to choose one of those stresses and increase one of them. So for this upcoming long run, I'm gonna keep the distance the same, 10 miles, but I'll add recovery periods in between cruise intervals. And I'll allow myself to float for two minutes to help keep my heart rate a little bit lower. However, I will increase the pace to south of 640 per mile and I'll shoot to do all my cruise intervals at around marathon pace at 630 or under. At my current fitness I feel like I can do 10 miles at 630 pace if I break it up into two mile intervals. So I'll run two miles at 630 pace and then float for two minutes at around 730 pace and then continue this and repeat five times. After I successfully complete 10 miles at 630 pace, in two weeks, I'll do another long run and I'll build in another progression. This time, I will add a stress by decreasing recovery time. I will do this by keeping the float the same, two minutes at 730 pace. However, I'll increase the duration of each interval and I'll aim to do two, three, three, and two miles. And three weeks from now, I'm going to add another stress. This time the stress I'll be, I will add is volume. And I'll increase the volume from 10 miles to 12. This will help to create a bridge so that I can do 12 continuous miles at marathon pace in the fourth week. So in the third week, I'll do sets of two, four, four, and two miles to get me to 12 miles of cruise intervals. And then that brings us right back to where we started at the next checkpoint of another long run workout with continuous marathon pace miles. But this time, instead of 10 miles, it'll be 12 and at a new pace.
it's also important for us to spend time running at paces that are faster than marathon pace. But we will limit this time to 10% of our weekly volume for lactate threshold and about 250 to 300 meters for maximum speed sprints. After this week of volume increase, we'll bring lactate threshold runs back into the schedule, but that will not give us enough time at lactate threshold to fill out 10% of our weekly mileage. So we'll incorporate speed play into one of the medium long runs in the week. So let's see how it goes. The next four weeks, we're gonna do some pretty good work, get some good quality runs in, and we can see if we can bring down our marathon pace using the next four weeks of medium long and long runs. This week, we're gonna do three recovery runs, two runs at steady state, 10 miles each, one medium long run, and then one long run. We're not gonna do any quality focused runs. Most of it's gonna be easy pace, and about 20 to 25% of it will be quality. I'm super pumped to get all of our mileages kind of in sync again so that we can run as a team. Evan and Cole are going to train for the Long Beach Half Marathon, so it works out perfect. I can decrease some of their volume on the workouts, and then they can do the same pace that we do since their half marathon pace will be similar to our marathon pace. All right, that's three miles down. All right, fourth mile done. All right, mile five down. Hey, congratulations, Anita, on your giant comeback and completing your 13 mile run after pretty terrible knee injury. I'm really happy for you, Anita. Good job. Thank you so much. All right, six miles in the books. Let Cole and Evan finish a little earlier. so nice to get those seven miles of recovery in and loosen up these tired legs. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and a meaningful run. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>